Hey everyone, with the launch of my new YouTube channel, I wanted the first video I do to be a random facts about me video. I've seen a bunch of these done on YouTube and I absolutely love them. All right, I'm bilingual. My parents put me in French immersion school when I was young and I definitely don't get to practice French as much now as an adult, so I'm losing it. But I feel like having that on your resume, you know, it's helpful, right? I can say, voulez-vous coucher avec moi? People ask me all the time what my background is, as in, you know, my ethnicity. Well, my dad is Jamaican and British, and my mom is Canadian and British, so I'm British, Canadian, and Jamaican. I get this complexion all year round without even having to go into the sun. Because my dad was born in the UK, I was able to apply for British citizenship when I was in high school, and I hold a Canadian passport and a UK passport. Up until just recently, Brexit, I was able to travel and work throughout the EU. I've lived in Europe twice. Once when I was 19, I lived in London, and once when I was 24, when I lived in Paris for six months. Both times I worked in retail, I worked at The Gap in England, and I worked at American Apparel when I lived in Paris. So I was essentially a Parisian hipster for six months of my life. I don't regret a lot in life, but I have this tattoo on the back of my shoulder that I got when I was 18 years old. And if I could go back in time and talk to my younger self, I would probably discourage myself from getting it. It holds a lot of meaning to me, so I'll never get it lasered or taken off. But if you're planning on getting a tattoo, make sure you think twice, three, four, maybe even 10 times before getting it done. I'm a registered nurse and I have a master's degree in nursing. I've worked in healthcare for almost nine years and I absolutely love the profession. I had the opportunity to go to Kenya to volunteer as a nurse in a rural community setting and it was actually an experience that made me really reflect on what area of healthcare I was working at in Canada. When I came back to Toronto after volunteering in Africa, I switched from working in the hospital to work in a community setting where I was on a homeless healthcare team for four years. When I was in high school, my first job was working in the mall food court. I was chopping fries and making poutine for a living. It was super greasy, but also a lot of fun because all of my friends would come to the mall food court to hang out and I would be able to see my friends while I was working. Not a bad gig. From the age of 16 to 24, I worked as a lifeguard and swimming instructor. It actually helped pay my way through university. I loved it. I was a competitive swimmer as a child. My best stroke was the backstroke. As an adult, I play in a competitive LGBT water polo league called the Toronto Triggerfish. We've traveled all over the world as a team. We've been to Antwerp in Belgium and Reykjavik in Iceland, and the last tournament I played in was in Cleveland at the Gay Games, which is the Gay Olympics. I'm the middle child. I have an older brother and a younger brother obviously, because I'm in the middle, dummy. I also have a half-sister who's 16 years younger than me. When I was 16, I was actually at the hospital when she was going through labor and delivery. Now that I'm in my 30s and my sister's 16, everything has changed thanks to social media. But in fact, Madison, if you're watching this, get off the internet. I have an older brother who's gay and married, and I have to give him thanks because he really paved the way for my coming out, and he was always there to give me advice, and he was supportive. It really just made things a lot easier for me. In addition to being a cast member on MTV Canada's 1G, 5G, I was also on another show called The After Show. We taped it in front of a live audience, and it was for After Jersey Shore, and remember that spinoff with Snooki and JLow? Yeah, after MTV, I got the chance to work at Entertainment Tonight Canada. I was an entertainment reporter and got to interview celebrities on red carpets, movie junkets, go to the set of music videos. Probably my favorite celebrity interview was when I got to interview Jacob Tremblay, you know, the child actor from Room. We also got to have a dance off to Bruno Mars song. I've been skydiving in Australia. It's one of those things you try once, and probably don't ever do again. It was terrifying. I didn't want the guy to push me out of the plane, and you should really go to the bathroom before jumping out of a plane. My boyfriend is a fashion designer, and one of my favorite memories of getting to tag along and work with him was when we were in New York. He made a dress for Beyonce, and we got to drop it off to her condo building to meet with her stylist. So I know where Beyonce lives. While working at ET Canada, I also got to interview Lily Singh, you know, goddess of YouTube, Superwoman, she actually taught me dance moves from her Unicorn Island tour. Thanks, Lily. And hi! I've traveled to six out of the seven continents. I'll let you guess which one I haven't been to. And throughout all of that traveling, I've been to somewhat over 21 different countries. And my favorite city? It has to be Paris. Growing up, I was put into competitive dance. 
Yeah, I have those embarrassing dance photos where I'm wearing balloon pants and like a sequin top with my black jazz shoes. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. I'm six foot two inches tall and I have size 11 feet. I've had my nose, eyebrows, ears, my cartilage pierced, and even my nipples, but all of those have since come out. You should try everything once, right? I came out to my family when I was 18 years old and I was super fortunate because I had a very supportive family and network of friends who were there for me and so supportive. I think the hardest thing for me for coming out was being honest with myself. I didn't get braces until my last year of high school. I had the biggest gap in between my two front teeth and I got to take my braces to prom. I was voted prom king at my high school prom. I'm that person at the gym who farts on the cardio machines but I definitely make sure to look to my side to make sure everyone around me has their music playing before I let one rip. Sorry. Well, there you have it. There's a collection of random facts about me, probably some things you did not know before, and maybe we have more in common now than you first thought. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, share it, leave a comment, and I'll be launching my new YouTube series in the next month, so stay tuned.